An artificial neural network trained to mimic human decision-making has been developed by scientists. For many years, a Russian engineer has been working on creating a true Iron Man outfit. Researchers in Japan have created human-like skin on a robotic platform. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about first US living artificial intelligence, Shoked. The world. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. The earliest military algorithm in history, developed by the Chinese, uses wave imprints to track the movements of fleets. In addition, the first robot in history has the ability to package goods much like a person. All of these tech-related stories in one video. An artificial neural network trained to mimic human decision-making has been developed by scientists. Every day, humans make over 35,000 decisions based on information processing prior experiences, and self-assurance. While neural networks consistently make the same decision in two similar scenarios, humans may not always make the same choice. Language models, in contrast to humans, often have hallucinations rather than acknowledge their ignorance. The Georgia Institute of Technology researchers developed the RTNet neural network, which is trained to make decisions akin to those made by people in order to tackle this problem. It has the ability to evaluate options, assess data, and make decisions by taking the likelihood of various outcomes into account. Following a battery of tests comparing the language model and humans, the research revealed similarities between the neural network and humans in terms of accuracy, response time, and confidence levels. In terms of decision-making speed and information processing, the neural network not only beat rivals but also outperformed humans in several domains. In the end, algorithms are able to both simulate and partially replace the 35,000 judgments that people make every day. Researchers in Japan have created human-like skin on a robotic platform. Japanese scientists tried to create tissues directly around the mechanism in an attempt to efficiently cover the robot's surface with skin cells. The mechanism was submerged in a solution containing human dermal fibroblasts and collagen which are the two primary constituents of the skin's connective tissues. Similar to a paint primer, this layer gave the human epidermal keratinocytes, the following layer of cells, a homogeneous foundation. The outer skin layer of the robot is composed primarily of these cells, which give it a human-like feel and moisture-retaining barrier qualities. They are therefore able to produce a robust, elastic, and seamless skin covering. Making humanoid robots as similar to humans as possible is one of the biggest issues facing their developers. According to the researchers, human similarity can improve communication efficiency and evoke sympathy from clients or patients, making it especially relevant for machines used in the healthcare and service industries. Introducing Alexei Birkin, a man who has spent years crafting an authentic Iron Man outfit. These are genuinely functional pieces rather than merely stylized costumes, he has, for instance, designed a helmet, a reactor, a repulsor, a hydrogen booster, and other models with related functions. The most intriguing thing about Alexei's work is that in addition to sharing and explaining it, he also makes his creations available for other fans to copy. The cost of the blueprints and a comprehensive list of parts is rather affordable, albeit they are not free. For instance, a helmet costs $9. A tiny Iron Man Mark X reactor costs only $8, and an exoskeleton and repulsor will set you back a little $7. All in all, his writing is quite distinctive and educational. RoboGrocery is a robot that scientists at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have developed that can pack groceries just like a human. RoboGrocery is able to identify a wide range of products, from canned goods to delicate fruits, and decide which way is best to put them in a bag. For instance, the robot's gripper's pressure sensors will recognize that grapes are soft and easily crushed, so it won't put them at the bottom of the bag. Although RoboGrocery is still in its early stages of development, experts believe it has broad potential uses, ranging from industrial settings to grocery stores. To test the technology, researchers put 10 unidentified things on a grocery store conveyor belt. The products varied in hardness from soup cans, food boxes, and ice cream containers to more substantial stuff including grapes, bread, cabbage, muffins, and crackers. The researchers claim that this is a first step toward having robots pack food and other items in real-world settings. 
it is not required to have a massive constellation of satellites with the most sophisticated instruments in order to track the movements of an adversary fleet. It also works with low-resolution photos where the ship is only a small dot. A new technique created by Chinese scientists makes it possible to identify a vessel by examining its wake patterns. In essence, the Chinese program uses the fleet's footprints on the waves to follow its movements. It can be used by almost any nation or group, but the military will find it especially intriguing. Georgia Institute of Technology researchers have developed a new robotic musician that has four arms and two drumsticks on each. The most intriguing feature, though, is that Shimon the robot uses artificial intelligence and deep machine learning to compose and play musical pieces. It takes an initial prompt for Shimon to come up with and perform a new melody. A brief musical piece excerpt is used in this instance. The robot creates several versions of its future composition by identifying the primary parameters of the incoming data, then chooses the most harmonic version. As a consequence, a brand new composition in the vein of jazz and classical music is created. The ASRS NEO system, a creative approach to automated product storage and retrieval, was created by Falcon Autotech. The purpose of this system is to increase the effectiveness of inventory management and optimize warehouse operations. With its ability to handle goods quickly and accurately, shorten order fulfillment times, and enhance customer service, ASRS NEO dramatically boosts productivity. Because of its scalability and flexibility, the system can adjust to changing business requirements and warehouse configurations. It makes use of cutting-edge technologies to cut down on errors and the expense of manual labor, including automation and intelligent management algorithms. By guaranteeing effective space utilization, ASRS NEO raises storage density and streamlines goods accessibility. Vero is a robot created by the Italian Dynamic Legged Systems Lab that is intended to clean beaches. An industrial vacuum cleaner was mounted on the rear of the Unitree Alien Go robot, with hoses flowing down each leg, by engineers. Extra special 3D printed attachments guarantee optimal suction in the vicinity of the floor. The robot does more than merely meander around the shore. Algorithms developed by developers enable it to identify tiny detritus and determine how to engage with it. This is the first time that a robot's legs are being utilized for something other than movement at the same time, according to the developers. And there you have it, a glimpse into the groundbreaking world of the first U.S. living artificial intelligence. This innovation has truly shocked the world, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in technology and raising intriguing questions about the future. From understanding complex human emotions to adapting in real time, this living AI is more than just a technological marvel. It's a step toward a future where humans and AI coexist and collaborate in unprecedented ways. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.